so after Christmas Day, which was whatever from my other video, um, I ended up falling over in the morning on New Year's Eve, missed out on my New Year's Eve party, followed by me going to the hospital on New Year's Eve, telling, being told it was a sprain, being told to go home, spending New Year's Eve with my flatmate Mark, which was amazing because we cheered, cheered Prosecco with each other, watched the London fireworks from my bedroom window behind, but then... Three days later, I, I get a phone call whilst I'm working from home that the hospital made a mistake and it is broken rather than a sprain. So I ended up breaking my ball bearing of my heel. So in, technically I broke my heel. So yeah, it's not a sprain, it's a break. <laughs> so, as you know, I've actually um, hurt, yeah, hurt my actual ankle which I thought was a sprain because I was told that on the 31st it's actually not a sprain uh, it is the 3rd of January 2018 and I have been called in again because they've actually seen that it is a break I broke the ball bearing of my ankle when I slipped down the stairs so I've had a scan, another one they can see it a lot more clearer. Um, this is the scan. As you can see, like at the bottom, where the lines are coming up, that's where it's supposed to be smooth. That's all like shattered. So yeah, they've done some damage. Um, so they had the scan. They're gonna put it in plaster, in temporary plaster. Then they'll remove the plaster, and then I have to come back in tomorrow where they'll remove the plaster and then put a new cast on all together. So hopefully we'll have different colours. I want hot pink. My nurse actually said that um, she can't believe I've been three days without well, just going on um, ibuprofen. She said that you need to be on something stronger, so I've been given these to take because they'll help the pain. But yeah, it's so excruciating. It's so bruised. I don't know if you can even see it, but it's so bad. Um, but yeah, get it cast, full temp cast, go home, come back tomorrow for 9.20, and then I'll be... Um, put another cast on so yeah it's not sprained <laughs> it's broken this seemingly always happens to me as well i had a routine surgery a few months ago and they messed it up as well like i was supposed to have routine surgery my friend came with me and when we got there it was like a the one before the, the surgery like the routine checkup to see if you can actually have it so yeah i don't know why this happens to me um, but yeah, um, at least it's getting fixed. And there's, I think my chances are that George Clooney will walk in. No, my chances it'll be a woman. <laughs> oh, God. I'm just waiting to be plastered now. Where? I've done some drugs as well, so. Who would you rather come and see you in hospital? In terms of doctors? ER? Or Grey's Anatomy? The choice is yours. Okay, so I've been given these snazzy um, hospital lamps. Right, so I have to put these on and then they're going to come back and do my cast on. So. Right, let's get these on. I have to leave the hospital in these as well. It's not <laughs> God, they are elasticated. So bad. Sexy and stylish. So I'm at the hospital and just waiting for a CT scan because they won't change it over until they actually think that everything's okay with the other parts of the ankle they think they've found something else which I really hope they haven't um, where the um, foot joins the no where the leg joins the foot so around about where the ankle is so where the ball bearing is what I broke they're gonna try and um, see if there's anything else there so a CT scan and then hopefully change into my pink plaster I actually did my hair and everything this morning and I fucking look shattered there's like one hot doctor as well, he has grey hair and he keeps on walking about. So obviously I'm like trying to like seductively just like 
not coming on to him because I look so tired. And also, I've got a boyfriend now, so. I can look, but do not touch. So, I didn't get a cast, I got a full on boot, so. That's it. I asked him if I get a hoverboard as well because it looks like something from Back to the Future Part 2. But yeah, a little bit disappointed that I don't get a cast so everyone can write on it and the fact that I won't get hot pink. But at least it's put in somewhere now and I don't need to come back till, till the 2nd of Feb. Um, yeah. They said that um, it'll take 8 to 10 weeks to, fit, to mend. So, oh my god. So, bleh. So apparently I have to have this um, boot on for eight to nine weeks, get plenty of rest on my foot, so I have it elevated so I have to work from home, which I've been working from home anyway because my office is flooded, and so I was working from home for nearly a month, so I'll be doing nearly another month working from home. So, <sighs> anyways, onwards and upwards, I know which hobby I want to do this year. Well, one of them, I want to do three hobbies. I want, and uh, the first one I'm going to do is rowing. So I applied for that. And so when, when this is fixed, I'll go in for it. And yeah, so you know what to do. I've been doing little things. And I also want to get more involved in the LGBTQ Q community. I always get it, I always get it like mixed up with my words. It's because I have a slight stammer. LGBTQ. I want to do more for that. If it's like volunteering or like um, helping out in counseling and things, I want to do more. So I've reached out to Twitter for that and I'm going to get my head down with that. So yeah, if um, if you like the video, you know what to do, press the like button. And if you want to subscribe, yeah, just subscribe. You can see it just there. So yeah, um, thanks for watching everyone. This is a lot more upbeat than my last video. So uh, yeah, keep watching um, and I'll speak to you all soon. Mwah. Love from Kyle.